Now we're back to CapCut, let me show you how you can add a background. A little bit of a beginner question that I've gotten, but everyone is at a different point learning these programs, so why not make a video about it? Let's assume we have something like this and we want to cut out the model and change the background. We'll just go to cutout and use the auto cutout function inbuilt in CapCut. It does the work for you. Processing time depends on the clip length and your CPU power and sometimes even stuff that happens in the background. But it shouldn't take longer than a minute. One thing to add is that the results, they aren't perfect usually. So there are a little bit of frequency in there. But this is the best tool that we have in CapCut. So we have to live with it if CapCut is the only software that we can use. Here we got it now and you can see the edges sometimes there are fragments in there. With some clips you get almost perfect results. In this case I've picked one that isn't perfect so that you can see kind of like the limits of CapCut. But we've got our cut out and now we want to add a background. To do that we'll drag this clip one video channel to the top. And now you can add for example video, image, inbuilt backgrounds. Let us start with the video. I'll put it below. You can see in this case we have a different format. Our cutout is 9x16, the background 16x9. We can easily fix that and change this on the ratio to 16x9. This changes the format for the entire project. Then use the split tool B to get rid of the excess part here. I'll play it. And there you go. We now have a new background. Let me delete this one. We can also import images, just drag and drop it here on the media. Click on the plus sign, reposition and resize it. It works the same way. By the way, I've got the snapping enabled here. When you want to use an inbuilt background, just go to library on the media, right here, open the drop down. And there's currently even a specific category for background, but you can also type it into the search bar on top. Let me use the white one. If you can't resize that here directly via left click drag, you can select this element in the timeline down here and then go to speed. And in our case, we need around 18 seconds. You can see it right here. So I'll make this 18, enter, and there you go. One more thing, if you want to keep the original format to so 9x16, let us return to 9x16 and your background doesn't fit, you can just scale this. In this case, I rotate it and then I left click drag on these corners to scale it up. You can do that for any image, background or video footage. And this is how you can add and change the background in CapCut. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.